There's another case of pictures taken of students in school bathrooms, then being shared on social media. This time it happened at a school in the Sci Fair School District. And this time it was at a middle school. Anayeli Ruiz joins us live with the latest. Anayeli. Well, last week we told you about a high school student at Sci Fair ISD that was arrested for taking a picture of another student while in the restroom and then shared it with friends. After our story ran, a mother called upset because she says her son was also a victim here at the school behind me, and she feels like the school district hasn't done anything about it. So when I saw that story, I was you know, I was furious and this concerned mother has asked us to hide her identity to protect her son. We're calling her Laura. There was a picture of my son in the bathroom posted on Instagram. I mean, he didn't want to even go back the next day. So the level of embarrassment for him, I can't even imagine. She contacted the school and even filed a report with the sheriff's office. She says they were able to track down the student who snapped it and the sheriff's office says the student was charged, but her son's picture remained on Instagram for nearly 30 days. As far as protecting him, I was able to pull him from the school and put him in a private school. She says she removed her student from school, but she wanted this incident to serve as a learning experience for other parents and students. Meetings that I had with the school principal and police department and the general correspondence that I had with the district, I didn't feel like the district was doing enough. She said her son's embarrassing online photo happened before the incident at the high school. And if parents and students in the district were all informed, she believes some of these incidents could have been prevented. And other parents agree. They say kids now are just scared to use the restroom. I've been told by by other kids that they look up to the top of the stall and to the ceiling before they go to the bathroom to make sure there is no phone over the stall. In the meantime, Laura hopes her son's story is a reminder to parents and students that snapping an inappropriate picture is a crime. Also having the um, sit down conversations with their kids, letting them know what the possibility, the outcome is for them if they do take pictures of others and post it. Well, the school district did confirm the incident did occur and said appropriate consequences were issued to that student. Guys, Anayeli, curious to know, is the school district doing anything to prevent incidents like these from happening? Well, we asked the school district just that, and they tell us that they do offer cyberbullying lessons to the student, other cell phone lessons. They also say that students are required to keep their cell phones in their backpacks throughout the day. But just by going on Instagram, we found several social media accounts with inappropriate pictures posted by these students. And as we could tell, it's really not being affected. It's unclear what kind of um, what kind of communication was given to parents about these ongoing issues. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. We'll see what, if anything, changes. Anayeli, thank you. KHOU 11, by the way, was the first to report a teen charged for taking video of a classmate in the bathroom. You can get up to speed on the school district statement on that incident on KHOU.com.